expressed are those of the sponsor and don't necessarily reflect those of the station or iHeartMedia. Hi, it's Leah here to tell you about Dr. Anthony Pinozo. He's a pain specialist located in Southern Palm Beach County. So if you are somebody that you know is suffering in pain, Dr. Pinozo is the one you guys need to call and make that call today because living in pain is no way to go through life. Dr. Pinozo has been in practice now for more than 49 years. He's treated more than 73,000 patients for pain. He's an expert when it comes to diagnosing the pain, and he has had huge turnarounds. In fact, people with living with scoliosis, he has had nearly a 100% turnaround. Lumbar pain as well. If you've got lower back pain, if you're suffering with migraines or flat feet pain, maybe pain in your elbows, your neck, your shoulders, Dr. Pinozo can help you. And the greatest thing is he can help you without drugs, without surgery, and without having to go through weeks and months of rehabilitation. Give him a call today. Set up an appointment. It's 561-381-5800. Tune into his show Sundays, 11 to noon. And now, here's this week's edition of the Dr. Pinozo Sports and Medicine Hour. Good morning, everybody. And to all you lovely ladies, you don't know what you're going to be expecting. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Here is when flowers that used to cost $5 are now costing $26. You know why? Because us guys forgot to. I've paid as much as seventy dollars. Oh yeah, for roses, yeah. sure. Well, thirty-nine percent increase this year. Rosa. Oh God, yes. So first, let me get started by saying good morning, Dr. Pinozo. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Harmon. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Freddie from Amp Two Good, good morning, morning, Colleen. He doesn't let me say good morning. Just I'm sorry. Go ahead, Freddie. I apologize. Good morning. Yeah, turn good the morning. camera on him. Good once morning. In a while. No, 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 no camera. No cameras. He's even on the two boys from Brooklyn. There's no camera on him either. Never. He doesn't want anybody to know what he looks no, like. No, because that way they can't scream at me when. <laughs> <laughs> so when the lawsuits come, they come directly to West Mayor. Okay. That's right. Oh no, health and wealth. <laughs> okay. I want to remind everybody that this Tuesday. Dr. Pinoza will be holding a seminar where yes. you're going to learn everything you've ever, ever wanted to know about pain. Uh, it will be held at the South County Civic Center at 16700 Jog Road. You have an opportunity to meet and ask questions of this remarkable man. <laughs> and I say remarkable because it's so hard to comprehend that you could get rid of a pain. Any with, pain. Any and, I mean, any pain at all. And, and, you know, I wouldn't say this if I myself wasn't a patient and I sent my family as well as Freddie. It's totally amazing. Doc, what are you going to talk about at the seminar that, 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 to these people? You're going to go from the head uh, all the way just, down to uh, the toe? Yeah, just bring your questions, whatever they are, we'll uh, answer them. Unscripted. No, we don't do. It's we don't script just, anything. It's just going to be me and you. That's it. <laughs> well, we hope it's me and a lot more people. Me and you, less, and funny. the audience, you. And audience. Fred, yes. Yeah. And you know what? So we're going to have Freddie there with the slide program. To yeah. Show you this Everything. Ver various things. That I'm trying talking. to get a cadaver in there, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? We'll also talk let's go, about let's go 3D, baby. <laughs> we'll go reality, man. That's we'll also right. talk about the golf program that we yes. have. Uh, all of this is based on the anatomy. See, everything you hear is going to be based on something that you can put your finger on. That's the beauty of it. That's the anatomy. You cannot treat anything you can't put your finger on it. Also, a golf swing. Uh, golf swing. Uh, I don't know if we get the audio. You can mm -hmm. uh, how that's done is you swing and you tell me where that pain is. We take it out, have you swing again. You don't have the pain, just like that. That's a proof, and uh, you do well. Anyway, uh, what else? Uh, you told me this great story in the car about someone that came in from a foreign country, or was oh he was a diplomat. And I thought it was funny, so tell that story. I think it's nice to know that we have a doctor here with a personality. Uh, yeah, well, the, the patient came in. He was uh, a diplomat to Denmark. Um, and uh, he had all this pain, couldn't play golf for six months, so I took care of the pain. He called me up the next day, <laughs> and he said, I'm do I did well. I, I did, all these shots helped me, and I played golf, and I wanna, I'm going to be gone for a week, and I'm going to bring you a present. I said, well, give me the country of Denmark. <laughs> the country of Denmark. Well, I mean, come on now. Denmark has got some pretty hot babes there. <laughs> oh, is that what he's looking for? The oh, babes? Yeah. He didn't think that was very funny. Well, I, I thought it was aren't funny. that funny. Yeah, I thought it was funny. Well, the, the question I have for you, the seminar is going to enhance people that are on the fence mm -hmm. or, I mean, we've been doing this show long enough. Almost two years. And, and a lot of people that uh, should be coming out um, are not coming out because they question whether or not they should learn more or it's too good to be true or that's not what my doctor told me to do and yabba dabba do and all those other stuff so they can come out and actually meet the doctor 
and meet him and greet him and talk to him and um, you know all the naysayers that because there are some naysayers it's like that in any business yeah they're going to bring up uh, questions that uh, they think they have prior knowledge of which is not going to be accurate so mm -hmm. we just you know explain it away and uh, that's where your slide program comes in we can actually show things um, and uh, Les will be there and <laughs> keep everybody in line. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't say that. Gosh darn it. Well, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, it's funny. We, uh, for, uh, we always we had some table when we went out to eat. We always have breakfast every Sunday, uh, Saturday morning, just to just to kind of bull and have a good time and eat. And there's this waitress that is in such pain. Oh, but my doctor said, I said, honey, I don't make any money whether you come to see Doctor Pinozo. Or not, and he doesn't really make that much money when you come to see him. Don't listen if you're walking around like you're half dead. Why not take the opportunity just to talk to the guy, see if you can fix it. I tell this to everybody: if you're a football player, if you read all the things that you can't take from the NFL, what Doctor Pinozo gives you is not on there because it's not an enhancement drug. Right. It gets rid of the pain. Hey, perfect example, Doc. I, I hate to bring this up because I know you get mad, but I'm saying it anyhow. You spend fifteen hundred dollars. We've had, I'd say maybe ten people that we know of that spent fifteen hundred dollars for for Botox. I could say it, never got cured. But there's not a cure. The Botox is not a cure. It didn't even help get the head headaches away. Relieve it. it. It's not. Yeah, I see them advertising heavy now again. Don't again. They it, started coming. Back. Yeah, they did. You want to do something that makes sense. Botox works on muscles. Muscles do not cause headache. It is absolutely. Not right. Headache does not come from muscles. It comes from ligament. So it's the wrong tissue. So right. you're not going to improve. <coughs> so you're looking, you're looking at in the wrong area mm -hmm. to fix a problem. Right. Right. And and, and well, they're the going pain, to uh, the wrong people who don't treat that. Yes, and they don't. And even these guys should come out and take yeah. a look at what you're talking about. I love that. We invite everyone to come out. The people that give Botox, the chiropractors, and the surgeons coming out. They may you might educate them. To say, wait, this guy knows what he's doing. That's right. And this is a free seminar, so it's not costing you anything. Not costing you learn. anything. Now, if you're a veteran and you've been given a ton of uh, medicine for vets to cure pain because no one can figure out what's going on, yeah. um, I would highly recommend that you come on out because the doc wants to see you. And, again, there are no mm -hmm. narcotics. There's nothing given mm -hmm. in terms of medicine here. So if you're looking for pills, this is not your doctor. Well, he has a doctor, that uh, a, psychi a psychiatrist doctor. The one you, uh, Dr. Rosenblatt? Yeah. And he he gets them off the meds, and then the doctor <coughs> fixes them for the pain. I mean, they still have the pain. He, he does a great job, Dr. Right. He gets them off the meds, and then he sends them to Dr. Pinozo to get rid of the pain. We get rid of the pain. So now yeah. if you have them with pain, you don't need more medications. Well, that, uh, that is what the uh, people who are uh, taking narcotics need. They need a fellow who's really honest to bring them down. I was in Phoenix one time, and a patient came in, had a contract with a uh, pain doctor. Mm -hmm. The contract said that uh, no one could prescribe for this person in the area except him. Wow. Okay, so how would you think about that? I think it's ridiculous. You so know, I thought, well, if, if the contract works, then the amount of narcotics that this person is taking should go down. That's logical. So I asked the patient, I said, are you taking more or less narcotics since you have this contract? He said, more. I said, leave that doctor. That is not the one for you. <laughs> See, it's got to make sense. If it doesn't make sense, don't do it. That's right. Well, there's been articles in every medical journal. It's funny. I'm reading medical things now just because I, I want to give you the knowledge that I'm reading and whether it's true or not. But the bottom line is they all have the same thing. If your doctor can't cure you in three visits, you're at the wrong doctor. That's right. And taking, <laughs> and taking medicine to hide the fact and then coming back and getting more meds and more meds and more meds is not taking care Well, the other of thing is, uh, if someone's treating you and you don't do well, they'll say, well, you need surgery. Right. So now they refer you to an orthopedic surgeon or a neurosurgeon. That is not the way to look at it. That's right. If those people do not do musculoskeletal medicine, like we're describing, then that is the wrong person to go to. Well, also, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen an orthopedic surgeon or a chiropractor that has a C arm. Because those are very oh, yeah, expensive they do. pieces. Yeah, they I, do. I, I, but I've never, I've never, the only CM I've ever seen, I'm not going to lie, is the one that you showed me. Well, I didn't know what it was. That's because you don't go around. Oh, 
You don't move around. Hey, Doc, hey, listen, before I met you. I didn't even know what a CR was. I'm just looking at you. See, look how pretty she looks. Colleen Ka- Ka- looks there with her hair down. Doesn't she look attractive today? Colleen is not happy today. Well, you two want to go talk together? I mean, she's too young for this me. Is a, this she's is not, a show. Though. She's a baby. Uh, and listen, where is. You want to answer questions? Wait, wait hold on. Where's, no. this, where's the seminar being held? Seminar is being held at 16700 Jog Road. and 16700. That's 16700. It's just south of Linton Boulevard on Jog. Okay. On the left side. When you go down there, you'll see it. So if you're on Winter Boulevard, you just keep going to Jog, make a left. Yes. Yes. Okay. South. And that's going to be held from 3 to 6. Yeah. 3 so to 5. 3 to 5. 3 to 5? 3 yeah. to 5. Oh. You want to it's the South there? County Center. Yes. South County five. Civic Center. And you know what's going to be nice South about County it? South County Civic Center. A lot of people don't want to call because they're afraid. But you know what? You can call <laughs> at this number, folks, right now at 800 889 0267. We appreciate any call. If we could help you, we're happy. A lot of times, the last time we did this, which is a couple of years ago. Before you met me and Freddie. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I arranged that and I was talking and then uh, all of a sudden the uh, office, the, the staff there, that works there, come and turn the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, the was lights off? Nobody was leaving. So they turned the lights off and I said, well, you guys have to go because the staff wants to go home. Yeah. Well, I got something. It for was you. that interesting. Well, that, that's why we we, we got a now before and after you yeah. speak, Doc. So that because now you have to make sure that you keep track of time less because a lot of people um, are going to be wanting to talk to the doctor mm-hmm. and they're not going to let them on stage. So you got to sort of yeah, move I'll, around. I watch. I watch the time. We have a microphone that uh, yeah, moves you're gonna be from place the mic to place. And stuff. Yeah, you're going to be working uh, wearing a mic. Uh, then I have a microphone to ask questions, right? That's great. Okay. You have a movable one. Yes, we have a movable. I mean, this. Uh, let me tell you about Am2.tv. There is nothing that they don't have or could use. So I, I'm very comfortable. I, want, I read this article, Doc, a two-page article in a men's health magazine. Okay? This has got to be a, a ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 ad. And it talks about, I could, I, the ad's here so I can talk about it. It talks about Thermacare. And they have this new heated thing. Thermacare. Thermacare that goes around you. Now, it says, the, the one thing it says that makes, drives me crazy Relieves, relieves. Doesn't cure it, it relieves it. What is this thing? It just heats. It's a band aid. Yeah, yeah, it just put, it's heat around in areas. How, how, it doesn't cure you. Why would it even relieve you? Uh, temporarily it does. Yeah, because but, uh, ligament tissue becomes more pliable when, right. it, when the temperature goes up. But you don't know where that ligament is. Mm-hmm. So when you put this on, it's like a hot pack or infrared light. It's just surface heat, is all it is. So. Don't bother. Don't spend the money. Don't do it. They're expensive. They're expensive. They're not cheap. You know, I always say... I always not say, only that, if it's plugged in, you want to make sure it doesn't burn you because remember, the power company keeps producing electricity and if it's going to burn you, it'll burn you. Before you know it, you're burned. That's right. And so uh, your best heat is not this. Mm-hmm. It is uh, hot... Uh, hot... Uh, what do you call it? Um, hot compress? Hot bath? Hot compress or um, a, what is that bladder that you put the hot water in it? Oh, a um, hot, oh. hot water bottle? Hot, 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 hot water, water bottle. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that just relieves pain. It, it doesn't make well, it go away. Well, that's what this does. Yeah, it just makes it go away, it, all it this stuff. Temporarily, temporarily, temporarily. And why? I, I can never understand the concept of, of uh, heat and then ice. Uh, heat and ice. I can never understand that. Uh, I couldn't either, and I'm in the business. Yeah, don't I know. Do, oh, don't so, do either one of them. Yeah. It doesn't work. Well, let me ask you a question. When you put heat in an area, what does it do? It increases the blood flow? Yeah, but what good is that? Because that's muscular relief. It's not taking care of the pain. Well, no, muscles don't hurt. It's ligament. Something, ah. something. So you put this heat on and you feel better as psychosomatic? I mean, what? And then, uh, no, you actually feel better until you take the heat off. Until and you then take it, it off. Comes, the pain comes back again. It was funny. I was telling Doc by the patients that I, I sent up to him, a very beautiful woman, and to get work on her elbow. And I saw her husband, uh, today is Sunday, I saw her husband on Friday. You know what he, and I said, how's she doing? He said, well, she's doing great. I said, really? I said, I think she says she's in pain when she doesn't want to vacuum the house. But she's lifting her weights, and, the, and she said, oh. So you know what? I just want one person to tell me that this stuff doesn't work. You were talking about this article there. Oh, yeah. There was an article in Men's Health. The the lifting one. (laughs) Uh, You know, Freddie, you really don't need me except for my good looks. You have told, he has been telling me, Freddie, for years, you only have to do eight reps. You only have to do eight reps. I'm reading an article in Men's Health, and it says, quote, do eight reps and always have good form. 
form and what's that other word? Function. The, what the, the hell is he talking about? This is an article. What I'm saying is he's always. Every, this, somebody wrote an article on lifting weights. Yes. Oh, okay. And I'm sorry. Uh, we've been we've been saying for you know forever that uh, eight reps is all you want. Yeah. Right. And then you don't get sore. So now this article was saying that. And then you put the article away. Finish reading it. That was it. it, was, it was, oh. That was amazing. They talked to... <laughs> and it said three times uh, do uh, eight reps. Yeah, eight, eight three reps, times. Rest for three, How much rest, between? Rest, rest for three minutes. Do another set. But, uh, but stay but, with eight. But what it doesn't tell you is... Increasing the weight. It doesn't tell you how you get how you increase the weight. Mm-hmm. Okay? And that's important to get muscle. So listen, listen. I'm going to tell you how to do it. You increase the weight week by week of 5%. So if you're lifting 40 pounds, 5% of that is... 20? 20. No, 10. 40 uh, pounds, 5% is 2. <laughs> you raise it 2, do your 8 reps, and then uh, next time you raise yeah, it 5% right. more. Now, you'll never get hurt. You'll never be sore. And you can do all of that. And it's, it's a progressive very... thing. Now, you have to keep notes when you do this. I do. As I can't remember what I did last week, how many pounds. So if you write it down, uh, you'll see it's a regular progression until uh, I did that for myself. Uh, I was lifting uh, 100 pounds for my golf game. 100 pounds 100 is pounds ridiculous. On lateral raise. should be able to do more than that. Uh, I thought that was not enough. You mean this this thing on the machine? Yeah, lateral oh, raise. That's hard. That's hard. I, mean, I do 50 pounds. Because you're pulling the golf club through. If you're right-handed, see? So how's your game? This pulls the golf club through. Well, I increased my speed doing this. Speed is important. Seven, uh, 70, uh, uh, 70, how do they measure that? Meters per second or it, it, uh, miles it's, per hour? It's, it's, mile, it's miles per hour. Okay, so now I went up to it's 105. It's swing speed. I went up to 105 from 70. That's pretty good. And then, yeah, so uh, my my swing was good. So yeah. how many yards did that give you? It gave, I don't know, it gave me uh, enough that I couldn't follow it. It was far away. What a lot of people <laughs> yeah. don't know is when you try to swing hard to get a, a hard uh, a swing speed and... You're a amateur golfer. You have a tendency to move your, to take your eye off the ball. So the, so even though you're having a good too sp- fast. Yeah, yeah, right. It could go to the, the left. Uh, yeah, the body. Well, the, it goes to the right or left. Usually, the wrist. Yeah, that's also right. Yeah. So your wrist has to be. This is what this. Uh, Holy shit! You really? Belt- I always said that bad word. Holy, mm, you really know your stuff, buddy. Yes, yes, I really do. So uh, so all your golfers that are down here. Dr. Pinoza is also going to t- talk about the golf swing. I, I can, I've learned so much from Bob Toski that I could I could probably tell you how to increase your swing. In fact, I do. He was one of the when greatest When we take care teachers. of the pain, we uh, reduce the, we tell you how to swing. Never change your swing, folks. Never change your swing. Take us from someone who plays golf. Never change your swing because if you do, you're going to go short of yardage. And remember, the drive is the most important thing. And that, and turn me golfer. <laughs> Where does he hear this stuff? From you. <laughs> Hey, listen. People say yes. you didn't give the call-in number if they have stories. To share. Oh, if anyone has a story to talk to Dr. Pinozo about, question or, or a question story, what they've done, what they haven't done, you can call up at 800-889-0267. Where is it? Right down. It used to be right there. He well, has it in front of him. Oh, I got yeah. right here. Doc, I am the host. <laughs> you were just the. I'm the host. You're the brains, and he's the brains. Okay. Eight, what was the number? I forgot. Oh, 800-889-0267. <laughs> I'm afraid to give your number out until the end of don't the show. Don't do it. Don't do no. it. No. Okay. I'd like, if anyone doesn't mind, I'd like to give some questions today. All right. Okay. We got some questions so from, the, from Boca Raton. Uh, and it's Joey who writes, I've seen a few of your shows, and my problem seems to be in my lower back. Sometimes it gets to the point that I can't tie my shoelace and they want to give me cortisone shot in my hip. I was told to stay away from this. Is that true? Cortisone. Cortisone. I don't know what that is. We don't use it. No. No. I don't know what it is. I figure you were a doctor. You wouldn't know what it means. Well, if it has powder in it, uh, we don't use that. We don't want uh, anything to last uh, two or three weeks like that. So uh, we don't use it. Anyway, uh, you don't put anything in the hip joint. If you can't put the, tie your laces, it's not the hip joint. 
That's good. In other words, he can't bring his foot up, right? Right. right. So there's another thing that does that. But he's also saying it's in his lower back, but they want to give him cortisone. It's probably not his lower back. In his hip. It's low, yeah, his lower, well, that's because it's a general shot. And right. It's not going to help him. Also, yeah, cortisol, they usually give it in, in the butt, uh, but, but it's not where the pain is. Yeah, well, those who don't tr- actually treat this want to help him out, so mm-hmm. they say, we'll give you a shot here, and that'll help you out, okay. maybe. I got a but, question. But uh, we, uh, when you come to me, we don't do maybes. No. It's either going to do it or it won't, and usually it does. That's that's a science. That's a science. It is a science. Well, you know, it's really it's really interesting you brought this up. I, you know, the, the, the very first baseball major league player was banned for life. For using a PED. What's and a PED? That's Jerry Mejia. Oh. Well, he was he was tested positive for boldy boldenone, and he had been tested positive for another steroid. Um, but these are PED tests that um, he says he doesn't even know how he took it. But they banned him for life. He's wow. 26 years old. Well, there's uh, there's a problem with the leadership there. Well, obviously, there's something wrong with the structure, too, because... They don't have to ban him for life. They could just check him well, it's week. Third, it's his third strike. They could, oh. They could check him week by week. Ban it's, him for that they, uh, particular uh, uh, game, not for life. They checked him a couple of months ago. I mean, ago. he has to earn a living. What are these people doing there? But the funny yeah. thing is, Doc, he's taking steroids, right? I guess it's to strengthen, I don't know, his arm that got damaged? Uh, well... Uh, he's the, the whoever's treating him is not doing the right job for him. He shouldn't have. He shouldn't show anything. You can get, still get treated not to show anything. That's what we do. I could talk as a as a real expert that we would treat this, and they would, nobody would know the difference. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a not, it's not a banned substance what you give. Right. It's not an enhancement substance. Yeah. We had a lady come in there with a shoulder operated, a huge scar, mm-hmm. <laughs> scar like this. And uh, I said, how long have you had this? Six years. I said, did anybody do anything for you? No. <laughs> so I gave her the treatment to the scar tissue, and she had a full range of motion when she left. I mean, if you know how to do it, uh, it's not that hard to do. If you know how. I mean, you got to know how. So, And I do. For Next 50, question. 53 years. Don't rush me. 53 years you've been doing this. You must know by now, right? Okay, let me go back. He's going like this to me. Uh, Rocky from New York writes, does most of the pain in the body come from inflammation? That's number one. I am a New York City sanitation worker, and though I work on hauling in the winter, makes the body hurt. I have a bad lower back and pain in my arms, but figure if I keep going, I will warm up and the pain will go away. That's not happening. Is my lower back causing the discomfort in my arms? No. Okay. Inflammation of a particular structure is what causes the pain. Okay. So you can be diagnosed if, uh, if someone knows how to do it. Uh, the uh, structure causing the pain can be isolated and treated directly. So the difference between everything that works... Well, uh, uh, so a chiropractor, when someone comes in with a shoulder pain, they don't know and they manipulate uh, the thing is, they don't know where that pain is coming from. Am I correct by saying that? Without Well, even if they did know, uh, you have to have a steroid to take the inflammation right. okay. out. And they don't have it. So. And, and when they manipulate it, Doc, isn't it making it worse? Yeah, yeah it makes so. it worse eventually. Right? I mean, eventually it's going to get worse. Yeah. Okay. Sally from Atlanta writes, Does taking Advil or any other medication meant for migraines a solution to the problem? I've had migraines for a long time. And I heard through your show, it's from a car accident. Wait, the migraines came from a car accident. And she said, I had my upper back four years ago worked on. I want to know if that's true, and I see if it can get fixed. Oh, Sally. Okay. Uh, there is no uh, medication for uh, for migraine except aspirin. Uh, and that's uh, that's the truth. You take uh, three aspirin, it'll knock any migraine away. Don't take anything else. And that's just temporary relief. Well, it's temporary. Could uh, over time could be permanent, but usually uh, that's what you use. Not those expensive drugs like the buy shots, a hundred dollars a time. Don't do that. Fifteen hundred, Doc. It's just a waste of time and money. And money, money, money. Andy from Atlanta writes: Can you explain how a hamstring comes from an injured hip? 
I know it's not only from an injured hip, but I told a friend of mine that who plays professional sports to listen to your show and the explanation on the air. Okay, we're going to give that explanation well, right that, now. Uh, you need a diagnosis when you talk about uh, hamstring. You don't know what that means. Right. Uh, hamstrings are all the muscles in the back of the leg. If you can bend 90 degrees, you don't have an hamstring problem. It's referred from somewhere else. Right. We found that out from a, a couple of patients before. We find that out every day of the week. I know a lot of p- new people keep uh, getting on to us and what you do. Mm-hmm. So I want to repeat what happened when we when I sent in a very good friend of mine with a uh, ankle p- uh, problem, and you had this person walk up and down. You said it's not in your, it's in your back. Right. And uh, so I think in this country a lot of misdiagnosis is, uh, is happening, and I think that's hurting a lot of people and the insurance companies. Well, that makes me successful. <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true but I mean you know people you know what I say everybody look he's. I'm going to read more questions because we've got a lot of I don't want people to think you know what you're doing an injustice to yourself by not coming in and getting a second opinion okay I'm, so, I'm sorry doc I, 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 you have to go somewhere later it's a good statement okay uh, maybe I should just read questions and shut up right Freddie no you kind of add a little flavor we got to have some flavor to make this fun Doc, uh, Dr. Phillips, whoa, from New York City writes, I am intrigued on how you are fixing pain issues for many of your clients. But I ask how, does, but I ask how stable is the area once you remove the pain? Many operations such, such as Tommy John help stabilize the injured area. Can you explain to me how, you, how your procedure does that just by removing the inflammation around the ligament? Thanks, Dr. Phillips. We'll answer that for you. Well, the uh, Tommy John should not be done. There's nothing to operate there. It's just a ligament between the ulnar and the humerus on both sides. That's all you got. Right. I mean, what's to operate? There's nothing to operate there. We treat elbows every day. Oh, yes, I know. And we treat them in one, two days, and that's it. No surgery, no off the bench, nothing. They're playing and encouraged to play more. And uh, you do a Tommy John, which I don't see what you're operating on. Right. Uh, Then you're off for... uh, 180, 180. Six months. Six wow. months. I mean, no, know, no. A Tommy John surgery, you're off for a year, and then you have to come back four months later. Like, the meds have a kit coming a year. After yeah. A year. That tells you that they don't know what they're operating there. So, doctor, I mean, nobody Fu- should be off. But they're there. removing the ligament. And they should not be one. removing a ligament. It's put there by God as part of the design. You don't take it out. Well, well, period. What, period. You got it? I think what this doctor's asking you don't is. Don't get excited. He's asking you is the stability of the area. It's all stable. It's more stable than less. If you don't remember. Okay. I'm less, by the way. Hmm? I'm less. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty stable. Okay. Getting right on to this. Ba boom. Uh, Wrong show, Lars. So, Doc. <laughs> he thinks doc, he's two he guys from New York. Guys from, okay, <laughs> from, yeah. Dr. Phillips, if, if, you, if you're really interested, you can call up on a toll free. It's 800. 889-0267 and talk to Dr. Pinozo. Maybe the two of you guys could come up with... Uh... Well, I've just told him everything he needs to know. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to have the doctor with this I'd doctor love to in the some... same room. Yeah, I'd love the doctor to come in, in here. Because obviously he has a belief. Yeah. He's a doctor. He wants to know how he does it. I think that's great. Yeah. Uh, Janice from New York City writes, I am a housekeeper here in Queens and saw your show on Manhattan Cable and wanted to know when I go visit you in a month if it takes a long time to remove knee pain. I was told that I needed a few meniscus and the operation would keep me inactive for five months. I think I would rather meet you and get this fixed with a couple of shots. Can you explain how the pain is removed and how long it takes? Well, now that has a leading question that I have for you as well. When she said new meniscus, I know somebody that had a meniscus repaired, removed. Mm-hmm. They put a new meniscus in? No, and they can't. Well, they show them. Really? They show them these MRIs. And I saw these pictures, and one looked like it had gray in it, and the other one looked like it was pure white. So he says the pure one is the new one. Look how good it is. Hmm. I I don't think so unless it's metal. I I don't know what but it was. You, you can't put cartilage in. There is no way to do that. Uh, if you take cartilage out, uh, well, they're selling a concept of partial knee. Uh, Fixing instead of the whole thing, right? Just partial. What that is is a plate they put on that bone there. That's what I thought it was. But uh, first of all, you should not be taking the cartilage out in the first place. Cartilage is not the problem. The problem is what the ligament around the cartilage. 
and that's amenable to treatment. You can inject that and the pain goes away. It's inflammation of the ligament, not the cartilage. The cartilage has no pain to it. Well, the funny thing is... is so she stop doing that. She, By the way, years ago, there was a good article in the um, New England Journal of Medicine saying don't do this surgery, and they're still doing it. Yes. I mean, don't Why? do it, people. You're running the show. Don't go to the, uh, somebody who want, tells you you need a cartilage removed. Don't do it. Go somewhere else. And there's two things people should remember. Only you are in control of your money and your health, not insurance companies, That's not right. your best friend. You make that decision. That's right. So you got to be careful who you're going to. If they're offering you surgery for a knee pain, walk away. There's plenty of places to treat the knee. You don't need surgery on the knee. Well, the funny thing in that particular deal, Doc, is that it did not work for her. No. And she was in a lot of pain. She went to rehab. She was in a lot of pain. <laughs> then she was going to sue the doctors because they told her that it would get better, and it wasn't getting better. So they brought her back into the operating room, and they put some liquid. They injected some kind of liquid in the knee. What, yeah, well, that? That, that doesn't help either. No, that helped her enough to get back to work. Really? Well, now when she walks around, she walks with a limp. So, <laughs> well, what, it didn't help her. Didn't I just help. said it didn't help. But, I'm, but no, but before she couldn't even get up. <laughs> yeah, but it can't help her. There's it did no not way. Help, but no, it made it worse. Yeah, it made it much worse. Don't get your knee operated. That's how you prevent that. Uh, Hazel from New York City writes, A lot of doctors have told me I need surgery to fix my scoliosis. And they have shown me how others have led a normal life with the rods in their backs. Now I see how you offer to repair the situation and no surgery is needed. My case is pretty serious and I don't want to live in any more pain. I know you give guarantees for other ailments, but do you give one of the uh, removal of the hump on my back? Do you guarantee that? Yes. Okay. Now, you've heard this on the air, that he guarantees scoliosis. If you want to see some scoliosis patients, that Dr. Pinoza Well, has, just sit in my waiting room. They're in there every day. You can see them every day. <laughs> but they can go on uh, uh, Pinozo.tv. That's P-A-N-N-O. ZZO TV, and they could see for their own eyes. Hey, hey Doc, did you, have any, did you have anything spectacular happen to you this past week in the office? Anything different? Uh, well, the guy from uh, the uh, the guy was uh, representing or, or went Devil. to Denmark from the uh, I think it was Reagan administration or something. I don't know Reagan. where where he's from. That was that was pretty funny right there. Um, uh, I, you know, I never had a uh, a migraine fail. That's for sure. We know that. The last guy that came in still had a little bit of dizziness. I injected the other side and it left. So we're 100% for migraine and vertigo. That's and TMJ. Good. 100%. Right. I mean, you can't go better than 100%. I nope. mean, if, if, you're, if, you know, if you're suffering, look, we do this show. As you can see, there are no sponsors on our show. We do this show because I feel that Dr. Pinozo, and I've met him for quite a while, we know each other, is dedicated to helping people. I mean, that's the bottom line. That's the business I'm in. Yeah, and you've been doing it for 53 years, and you've cured so many people. I mean, now you know you, the measure of success is how, how many people you've cured. Yeah, that's one life. measure of success, right? Yeah. Okay, we have Al from Boca Raton writes, My son saw your show on Manhattan Cable and on the, on the website and also on the website network, and he called me to visit you for a bad shoulder. I was informed that my shoulder needed surgery because of a bad rotator cuff. Is is it true that you can't hurt your rotator cuff to the point it does not function correctly? Can your procedure fix a rotator cuff injury? Yes. And I know that as a fact because I sent two people in for rotator cuff injuries and they're playing tennis. Actually, rotator cuff is uh, diagnosable just by lifting your elbow. Right. So you can lift your elbow, your rotator cuff is okay. You know the oh, rotator okay rotator cuff injury was the number one injury in the majors in the late nineties. From pitches, probably, right? Yeah, yeah. It was the number one thing talked about, like Tommy John has talked about today. Back then, it was rotator. It's like it runs in in circles. It depends on who's who's getting the service. You know, uh, some of these players are well respected, so if they get their shoulder operated, the other guys say, "Oh." You know, so-and-so had his shoulder operated. I have a little bit of shoulder pain. Don't do it. Nobody needs surgery on the elbows, shoulders, or knees, or hips. 
Nobody. That, that's the difference right there. And if you want to challenge me, go ahead. Yeah, we love that. We would love a challenge. Okay. How am I doing, Doc? Am I asking these questions good? Yes, another one. Thank you. Yes, sir, please. <clears throat> Looks like I have my whole show here, right here. I don't have to research anymore. Daniel in Boca Raton writes, I was told by my doctor that my diabetes is creating inflamed leg syndrome. Uh, is that diabetic retinopathy? Inflamed what? Uh, it, that it's hurting his... Uh, it's, oh, let me read this again. I was told by my doctors that my diabetes is creating an inflamed leg syndrome. Inflamed leg? Yeah, that's what he wrote. I don't know what that means. We don't either. But the circulation of my legs isn't getting any better, and I and my feet start to swell. Is this on both of them? They give me painkillers and anti-inflammatories to fix the problem. Please advise me on what to do. Can I fix the circulation swelling in my feet? Well, you're in Boca Raton. You're pretty close to the doctor. Yeah, well, the, the best thing is come in for an exam. Okay. Otherwise, uh, swelling of the feet could be low protein in your diet, so you eat more meat. Mm -hmm. um, the diabetes could cause a neuropathy, but you'd know about that. It's uh, tingling of the toes. Does that come from bad circulation? No. Okay. That's from neuropathy, and that's Nerve both endings. sides. Okay. Uh, that's how you diagnose it. Then there's a nerve conduction study you can get, which tells you meters per second how fast a nerve uh, uh, will conduct an ele electrical impulse. It's a shock test. Mm -hmm. It's very, very nice, very accurate, and it's done well. I, I could, I could do that test. And the swelling of the feet? Uh, probably low protein. Really? Or sitting too much. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sitting too much. That's a good one. Yeah. That happens to me. Yeah. I sit. Because we do production all day, and we always sitting. Yeah, and so uh, uh, yeah. get your blood work done, uh, check your protein levels, make sure they're high, mm -hmm. and uh, that usually takes the swelling out. How much protein do you, do you think about our body needs uh, a day? 60 grams a day. You want to hear something funny? I, I did that as a, a, to chest, test them. My, uh, my, <laughs> two of my doctors, my gastro, I said, hey, doc, how much protein do I need? He said 60 a day. I said, really? We all read the same book. Yeah. All well, the doctors come out of the same book. Well, I mean, it's and the guy that does my kidney tells me the same thing, six days. So, God, you really know this. How many glasses of water should you drink a day? I drink more than eight because I work out a lot. So I, I probably drink a gallon of water a day. That's yeah. okay if you have good kidneys and you're not in heart failure. If you're in heart failure, you got to cut down. On the water? On the water. Really? Did you know that? Kidney no. failure, you have to cut down on the water because you retain water. And uh, so here, here's now. something you should hear. Uh, you don't die from kidney disease. Well, you die, if, you, if you produce urine or not, you don't die from kidney disease. You die from heart failure. Because the water that you're supposed to get rid of accumulates and starts going into your lungs, and then you die from heart failure. Wow. I, I heard that if you have... This colored urine, like very yellow urine, you're not drinking enough water. Doesn't is that mean, true? Doesn't mean anything. I didn't think so. It's really strange, isn't it? It's all it's all in the volume uh, business. Volume. So you gotta have volumes of water. <laughs> in That's and out. right. They take uh, liters off you if you go to dialysis, which is what you have to do to keep really? the water out. They take uh, liters of water out. You know that's more than a quart. Wow. So dialysis, they taking the water out of the system. They take it right out of the system. Well, how how about that? I didn't know that. I didn't either. That's why we have him here because he's he answers a lot of questions. He's helped me a lot. Like, hey, said, I doc, I have this rash. He tells me what to do. I said if this. He said that. So it, it, it's it's not. Well, they, I seen that they have pills now for diabetes that remove sugar out of the bloodstream. Well, through I wouldn't. The urine. I wouldn't be too serious about that. Really, that's a big pill right sugar, now. Sugar. <laughs> sugar should be controlled by diet. Don't have any. Don't have any. Right? Don't have any what? Sugar. You don't? You try not to. You see, the bottom line is if you, if you You're have You're diabetic. It, yeah. Okay. If you have sugar. Not insulin? Not yet. Okay, thank God. If you have sugar, <laughs> you, what you try to do is you try to remove as much of it as you can. Mm -hmm. So then, then you start normal because your body doesn't break it down, I guess. Right, Doc? Yeah. The, you don't have sugar in your coffee. You don't have uh, sugar in your soft drinks you don't have lemonade with sugar in it you know you know you just eliminate all the sugar you can he watches them so pretty good right Linda? no i don't i i cheated no. yesterday we went to the movies and oh. i had chocolate and stuff but you also sure. have to lift so people yeah. who are feeling guilty about this are hard to do hey you could deviate once in a while just get right back on the the system yeah after that so satisfy your needs and then get back on there 
First time I've met Dr. Pinozo as a doctor today. <laughs> yeah, he's away like, I the, mean, he's really away good from today. The, uh, the, med, the, the pain. He shot. carries a defibrillator with him in his pocket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is not true. No. Okay, getting when back. When I go, I'm going. I don't want a fibrillator. <laughs> Sal from New York City writes I saw your show on TV and wanted to know more about Vertigo. From where? Uh, New York City. New York City. Uh, about Vertigo. Doctors have told me there is no cure for vertigo, yet I've seen you talk about how you have helped remove vertigo from people. Why is that the medical profession does not acknowledge that perhaps you have a cure for this disease? What is the treatment that you do that makes it so effective against vertigo, and why hasn't this treatment been talked about in the past? See, I love New York people. I really do. Well, uh, how, you have to ask yourself, how does your doctor get information from his the, uh, the courses he goes to? Mm -hmm. Or the things he reads. Right. But what I did was uh, a research that we did in this office here in uh, Delray Beach, mm -hmm. and it's not published. So he, there's no way he can know that. Except he should not tell you that it can't be done, because it can be done. You show up in my office, and I'll do that. Well, we have a sales lady, and... We have 100% cure for that. Yeah, vertical. That's, 100%. That's... I mean, this has been going on six, eight months now. Jessica from New York City writes, I was visiting with my sister in Manhattan and saw your show. First question is, are you going to air shows in other parts of the East Coast? Uh, I guess, Freddie, are we doing that? Yes, we are. It's okay. coming. As it's soon coming. As, get, as soon as we can get to it, we'll get it. Okay. I saw the piece on children should be looked at before they play sports to get a clean bill of health from you. Can you further explain how seeing you would reduce the injury from children playing sports? The other question is, do you have other facilities that, that can be visited in New York? We don't have any other facilities, but you cannot prevent an injury from occurring. Right. Except if they're starting to play with an injury. You can prevent that. You can right. fix that. But uh, once once you're playing, you can't prevent it being hurt. You could, you know, do the best you can, but... Uh, if you're going to get hurt, you're going to get hurt. You know, it's funny what you say. A lot of kids, Freddie, you, uh, you were a coach, they have an injury, but they don't want to tell their parents or the coach. Am I right? Because they're afraid that they'll be benched and then they get hit. I think that happened. Uh, oh, God. The football player's son from the Miami Dolphins. He, was, he played in a 72 game. Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, his son played for college. He had problems with his neck and shoulder. He didn't want to tell the coach. Okay, it was the last game. Okay, he got hit and became a, became a paraplegic. A quadriplegic. Quadriplegic. I'm sorry. What did I say? Paraplegic. Oh, pa oh yeah, quadriplegic. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so what you now? If you would have seen that child before it went out there, he would have been told, "I don't want you to play." Well, we would have treated him. Yeah, and he uh, then he could play. Well, I got a question. You found in me one hip higher than the other, which, from what my understanding is, that's very common. It's not around people. I mean, a lot of people I know have the same problem with their gait, and you can see one is higher than the other. But anyway, suppose you have a child that's nine or ten, wants to play football, and they bring them to you, and and that condition exists, which could be really painful. A short leg. Yeah, one side higher than the other. It will not be at that age. It doesn't happen at that. That was my it question. between 12 and 18. Oh, wow. That's when it, 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 it comes out. Yeah. Okay, so so anything under 12, you won't see it. Over 12, there's a chance you might catch it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can catch it, absolutely. And then if you see it, Doc, and you make the adjustments, and he'll go on to play normally. Yeah, he'll be normal. normal after that, yeah. That's amazing. It's right an engineering there. problem, see? It becomes an engineering problem, not a medical problem. Now, when you're pitching with a short leg... Doesn't it change the dynamics of it your delivery? It changes the dynamics of your the thrust that you're going. You're going to be going off to the side to, if it's the right leg short, you're going to be off to the side before you. Wow. Go. That's why I pitched side on. <laughs> oh, the name of that football Holy player was Nick Bonacani. Oh, his son. His son. His son, yes. Yeah. And he, did get, he did become paranoid. Yeah, and they, they asked him what happened. They, he said he didn't want to tell anybody. That, so you pitched side. I mean, it's... I pitched side on my side. Now I know why, because it used to hurt. You you were a pitcher and a catcher? Well, in high school, I was a pitcher. And then I wow. I couldn't do it anymore because of the sure, pain. Sure, The problem pitcher. is uh, that uh, those responsible f uh, to the coach and the coach, they're not aware of these things that I'm ex we're describing in musculoskeletal medicine. We know how to do these things. They have to ask. And... Uh, 
and uh, get advice. And it's to their benefit because the better players you have, the better you look as a coach. That's right. Well, the coach did ask me why I was throwing the ball side on Doc, and because I was but clever he didn't enough. Know. See, I did, I knew why I was doing it. It was the pain, but I wasn't going to tell him that no. because I wanted to play. So I said, "Well, I'm changing my delivery so that you can see my arm coming at different angles," which wasn't true. Now, if if you were examined by me, we'd have picked this pain up no matter what you said. Wow, that was when I was 16. Yeah, you could not uh, lie your way out of it. And it and it hurt to throw my overhand. I used to only throw the fastball overhand. Mm, that's a shame. You would have had a great career had you known me sooner. <laughs> no, but then we, 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 no, but then you wouldn't have been I mean, as successful. You're worldwide now, Doc. Well, I'm talking about his. You're career. a national hero. His career. Well, I'm just saying great. it because anybody out there who's pitching and is over 12, you should definitely come see Doctor. Even uh, before t- uh, before 12, I mean, right. you should, especially if this is something like a lot of you kids. You see, scoliosis are injuries. Yes. And you can get them easily as you're growing because your tissues are not that strong. They're not like adult. Uh, and uh, so, you know, when you have an injury, you can easily get a curvature, which we pick up. Don't forget, these kids are very skinny at that age. And all you had to do is bend them over. You could pick it right up. Right. You could see it. Uh, so we got an Atlanta question here. Jackie from Atlanta writes, I've heard your show several times and wanted to write in to ask... I've been treated by doctors for many years to remove pain from my left knee. My doctor tells me the only solution I have is to perform surgery. Can I still visit you and have the pain removed? Do I have to stop taking medication before I visit? Uh, no, you don't have to stop anything. Just come in. And, you know, winter is not far away. It's an hour and 20 minutes on a plane. I mean, it's great. And, and, you know, everyone in New York, I know you'd love to come down here and play golf. You call us up, and we'll make sure you see Dr. Pinozo, and we'll make sure you have a nice hotel room, and we'll make sure you have a place to go eat. We're actually working on that. Line. Yeah. We're actually working on a hotel. Oh, yeah, Fred, you, you, you told me something about a hotel. And a I, 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 can't, I can't say where okay. it is right now, Doc, but there's a hotel that's come forward that has actually 27 holes of golf. And they are a hotel, beautiful place, and we're getting a tour this coming week. And we're going to put a package together where you fly in, you stay at the hotel, they come and see you, they move them back, they come back to make sure everything's okay, and then they fly them out. Well, wow. for a package. So that's coming up. We should have that in a couple of weeks. More people should do that. You get a vacation, you write the whole thing off of your income tax. And it's, it's, and it's a beautiful place. I mean, you know what? The most beautiful place. And if you're a golfer, you can find hundreds and hundreds of courses, including the one you have, and great restaurants. Where Doc, where Doc practices about a half a mile away are some of the finest restaurants on the ocean, some of the finest hotels. Well, this place has the golf course. It's a, a beautiful place to stay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be close to the ocean, so you're wow. going to have everything. It's, oh, the reason we picked it is because it has a little bit of everything. That's great. Our biggest That's great. challenge was the airlines, and because gas has come down, we're hoping to get a better deal. Okay. Uh, another New York City person. God, three in a row. I love it. Wanda from New York City writes, I've been working for several years, and as you know, when you stand on your feet all day to work, I saw your show that pain in my feet can be from different parts of the body. At night, my feet really hurt in the arch, and I've noticed pain in my left hip sometimes. Is this just fatigue, or do I have more going on? Others that I work with have pains in their feet, but I don't think it's as bad as mine. Well, it could be from the foot. Uh, there's a forefoot and a hind foot. could be from any place. She's right. not describing where her pain is, right. but you have to be able to diagnose for it. Yeah, I mean, we can, we can only ask, answer questions. You know, he does have to diagnose and find out where the pain comes from, the right. cause of the pain, and then he could work with it, right? Right. Uh, let's see. I mean, oh, I got a Boca one. Let me see if I get all New York out of the way today so they, no one will get mad at me. Harvey from New York City writes, from the shows I've watched and talking to the doctors, most of the problems of pain disease come from the high amount of inflammation that the body endures. Is that correct? Is there a way to get a complete body workup so the inflammation does not get to the point of pain? Being a firefighter, we endure different pains every time we come back from a call. What do you think? Yeah, I imagine they do. Well, there is no such thing as inflammation of the body. Right. There's inflammation of parts. He says all beat up. Uh, yeah, there's inflammation of parts, and those are treatable. Sure, no problem. One, one, one part at a time, as they say. That's right. Right? Well, I mean, those poor firefighters, they have those heavy hoses and all that stuff. They're well, they're talking lifted. to ignorant doctors there who yeah, don't that's understand exactly right. this. There are pieces of the body that cause pain, and those are that is inflammation of that particular piece. Mm-hmm. 
small piece. Right. I mean, low back pain, that big. That's about, about an Does inch. Does all maybe. that trouble. So I've seen this thing with the spot with that uh, the, the spinal hospital. I don't want to mention the name, where they go into the back with just a little bandaid, and they're able to get rid of all the things that that you and I talk about: sco- uh, uh, scoliosis, sp- it's, stenosis. It's, it's baloney. Right. Okay. What, what, you, uh, what did you see? What just came out 15 minutes ago? Um, the third baseman right from the Mets is only going to be limited to 130 games this year because wow. he has the swelling of the spinal column. Oh the disease God. that kept him out for four months last yeah, year. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And they don't want to wear him down. Um, and he looks different, Doc. His gait looks really weird now when he moves. I'm thinking it's in the hip. I don't know about all that other mumbo-jumbo. Well, the, the other st- is mumbo-jumbo. I don't think those guys know what they're talking about. I know they don't. And they're going to limit the captain to one. Yeah, well, to save the doctor, they're going to limit the, the injury. It, this is the new thing anything. now. It's stupid. Don't it's do It's a new that. thing now. Yeah. Keep him out. Guys okay. got to understand. The only thing to have to offer is their own body. If somebody tells you don't do that, and that's what you have, what happens to you? That's right. You lose your income. David, if you're up in Port St. Lucie and you're hearing this program, come on down, and we won't touch you. Let us just take a look at what's going. Yeah. On. Without touching him, Doc, I just want to. Can see. bring his guardian with him. He so can bring. <laughs> he can. He can bring his MRI. How's that? Let so, him bring his guardian so we don't jump on him and do something. <laughs> so now let me say this. It's getting towards. Now what? What he's going to hear if he does this? He's going to hear at the end of his the process. He's going to hear the scenario. S C E N A R I O scenario, of where it is, why it is, and what we could do about it. You'll hear all of that stuff, and it'll be shown to you right then and there. And if you say no, too bad for you. If you say yes, you're going to walk out there without that pain. Well, let me say this. Now we're getting close to the hour, and I want to give the numbers of Dr. Pinozo's <laughs> office. We've got five minutes? Yeah. Okay. 561-381-5800. If you are listening to this show or you have any kind of pain, it behooves you to call this number and talk to the doctor yes. personally. Behooves you. Uh, not bad, behooves. huh? I like behooves. that word. Behooves. College graduate, I can use the word behooves. I have certain words I like to keep in my mind so you I can use them. You don't have to be a horse to be a behoove. You don't have to be a hoof. Hoofed. You could be, you could be behooved, but you can't be behooved. Oh. <laughs> so that's 561-381-5800. I, I, could get, I could get a Delray one in here. Joseph from Delray Beach writes, I'm a member of the Sheriff's Department, and, and as you know, we are not allowed to take anything that would be considered drugs in the body. There are many situations where our jobs take a lot of toll on the body, and I would like to see you to help me with this. But I need to know more about what you would inject me with. Uh, if it allows me, I'm sorry, if, if it will pass the screening process yes, that we go through. Yes, there will be no screening process. There will be no marijuana injected in your body. None. No, uh, no muscle building steroid. We use an anti-inflammation, anti-inflammation mm-hmm. steroid, which is only there for nine hours. And, nine hours, that's amazing. And uh, anyway, uh, if you had the test for it, you could not find it because they're, they're no, they don't test for that. No, because number one is it's not So, a- I mean, he's really, uh, you know, this, this sheriff thing, he's, uh, not, he's not a good thinker. No, he's a little par- he's a little paranoid, Doc. He probably has two strikes against him. Well, yeah, well, he should come in to find out what's wrong with him. And yeah, then but he's ask probably what afraid he that they, they already yeah. caught him and they spanked him twice. Uh, so, Mr. Sheriff, 561-381-5800. And I guess I, I also want to remind everybody, because I think this is going to be the best two hours you've ever spent in your life, Dr. Pinozo's medical seminar, who he diagnoses and treats the cause of your pain without surgery or drugs. He will be live and in person at South County Civic Center on Tuesday the 16th, 16700 Jog Road, Delray Beach, Florida. You can also visit him on www.pinoza, P-A-N-N-O-Z-Z-O-T-V for more, for more information. Seating is limited, and if you've ever want to spend two exciting hours, that uh, Pinoza.tv is uh, YouTube, and mm-hmm. all of these programs are... Um, what do you call available it? on YouTube. Available on on that. Yeah. Pinoza TV. Every program we've we've done, and there's yeah. do- dozens of them in there. There's about seventy five of them. Seventy five <laughs> of them. We got a lot of shows. You can watch me age through the years. That's no, right. you know the thing is, you have an age Ever since you've been working harder, you can watch him from two years ago to today. You'll see if you look, he looks exactly the same. Who does your hair, by the way? 
<laughs> Nobody. That's the problem. With it. <laughs> <laughs> so again, I, I urge everyone if if you really if you really want to. Uh, have a good time and, and enjoy a doctor who really, really is out there to help him. Uh, it's Tuesday the 16th from 2 to 5, right, Freddie? From 3 to 5, last. From 3 to 5. So three if I come five. there at 2, you guys won't be there. No, we, okay. we're not allowed in. We're, we're allowed at 3 o'clock. we got to set up, and then the doc does his thing at 4. They turn the lights five. off at 5, I think. <laughs> and if, Hopefully and you, not. And you, and you will enjoy this. So let me give it again. It's uh, this Tuesday. You would find out that you're going to have a lot of fun talking about a pain. If you understand what a pain is, you will lose your inhibitions about it. And I'm going to show you what it is. Is it hard to bring the C-arm in there? Yes, we're not bringing the C-arm. <laughs> we're not bringing the C-arm. <laughs> but it's part of the explanation that he yes. wants to uh, share with others. And if you're on the fence... We'll take a picture of the C-arm. The... Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. <clears throat> if you're um, on the fence and you want to... Learn more about Dr. Pinozo, mm -hmm. and you want to see people, hopefully, that our patients will show up. Um, if you've been a patient, come on down so you can talk to people and let them, let them explain to them what Dr. Pinozo has done for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you have a complaint, come on down. Well, you know, I'll meet with you. I have no problem. Yeah, we, have, we don't care. We haven't had a complaint yet. We'd like to have a complaint. Will you not just to see? I, I would like to see a complaint. Okay, I hear that music. Colleen, just put on the music. Let me know. Hey, let's show Goodbye. Up. Uh, so it's 561-381-5800 to talk to Dr. Pinozzo, or we'll see you at the South County Civic Center at 16700 Jog Road. Have a great Sunday. Happy Valentine's, and God bless our military. 561-381-5800. Did you get that number? Doc, of course I gave the number. 561-381-5800. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Oh, goodbye. goodbye. This has been the Dr. Pinozo Sports and Medicine Hour with Dr. Anthony Pinozo. If you spend five minutes with Dr. Pinozo, you'll see he genuinely enjoys helping others. Visit Dr. Pinozo online at www.paincentersnationwide.com or call him at 561-381-5800. Dr. Pinozo will consult with you to determine the best solution to your pain needs. 561 381-5800 is the number to call, even if it's just for a second opinion. Join Dr. Pinozo next week when he brings you more important information on the physics of weight-bearing and engineer concepts for the body.